So we will s Good evening, my fellow Latter-day Saints. Kenzie Bradshaw, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia. And tonight, because I'm recording this on Saturday night, hopefully get it up within the next couple of hours, it is Saturday Sins, Sinful Saturday. And today it is episode two of my Tom and Jerry Marathon, The Midnight Snack. So, same rules apply, if I think something is worth a sin, I go from I go from this to this, and then to get back to the budget, I go from this to this. Okay, so it was a pretty little bit off with the source of timing there was concerned, but nevertheless, here we go. <laughs> out of the gates and a sin already for recycling music used in a previous episode. Minus one sin for Fred Quimby, just because he made the best Tom and Jerry cartoons. Right, we're gonna need to put a sin back on for this one because for Pete's sake, I mean, if you're going to leave a fridge door open, don't leave it open for too long because it is going to cause problems with the fridge in the long run. I know this from past experience and surely, even in the 40s, Jerry should have known this. I hate to be the buzzkill of the party, but it has, it has now been proven that mice do not actually like cheese. So from now on, Every time we have a, every time we see, a sh every time we have a shot of Jerry with some cheese, it will be one sin for not abiding by the rules of nature. Because, like I said, mice do not like cheese. I don't, I'm not sure what it is they like specifically, but they certainly do not like cheese. <laughs> weight of Jerry with the cheese on top of him, which he shouldn't be carrying to begin with, uh, there's no way that stick of celery would be able to support the weight of A, Jerry, and B, the cheese. <laughs> that cheese should have killed Jerry at this point. So, Jerry survived this without injury. How can Jerry navigate through all those holes? <laughs> And then some. Oh my word. He navigates through three holes, so that's three sins already straight out of the gate. And then he somehow gets out of the cheese, underneath the cheese, and then is able to lift it back up. How is that even possible? Okay, two things wrong with that part. Number one. There's no way Jerry would be able to turn around that quickly without dropping the cheese. And two, surely Jerry should have been able to spot right out of the gate that Tom was following him. Yeah, because that lampshade on top of Tom's head is not suspicious for any reason whatsoever. Ah, here comes the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. Because, uh, let's put a sin on for every, for every uh, piece of crockery or d every dish or piece of crockery that he puts on top of the cheese. Because there's no way Jerry should be able to carry this much by himself. Anyway, here we go. Let's see how many, let's see how many. So there's one. That would be four, five, six. We're gonna count the egg as seven. 
So yeah, one, two, three, four. okay. So what looks like a vase, a plate, a teacup, a soul slash pepper shaker, a smaller plate, an egg cup, and an egg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven, seven items on top of the cheese shouldn't be possible. You know what? I'm feeling evil tonight. Let's add another sin on for the cheese, because there's no way Jerry should be able to carry eight items on his back without any of it falling over whatsoever. <laughs> pieces of bread that's just going to cause even more imbalance because there's no way he's going to be able to walk up every single one of those slices of bread without possibly falling over and risking breaking everything five pieces of bread five sins <laughs> Either he's too busy focusing on not falling over, or, given the fact that he's looking like straight ahead, surely he should be able to see that Tom is right there! <laughs> everything should have fallen off at that point. So, add another 8 cents for everything that should have fallen off. Including the egg! <laughs> takes Jerry approximately 60 seconds to finally realize that there was no way he should be able to carry A, everything, and B, realize that Tom has been messing about with him the whole time. So, for 60 seconds, add 60 sins. Why? Because that's the way I like to roll. And again, navigating through the holes when he shouldn't be able to. It takes the celery stick approximately two minutes to realize that it cannot support the weight of Jerry and the cheese. Two minutes, two sins. Good boy, Jerry. Now get out the fridge and close the door. And yet Jerry still resorts to stealing a piece of cheese anyway. And he still doesn't close the door. Minus one sin for Tom putting the cheese bag where it belongs, after Jerry stealing it. And then Tom ha and then Tom puts that sin back on because he decided to steal a piece of what appeared to be jam or jelly, as the Americans call it. No idea why, because, because over here in Britain, jelly is wobble, wobble, wobble. And they call that jello. Mmm, yeah, go figure that one out, folks. Anyway. He was gonna close the door and decides to keep it open. That's another sin on Tom, not cool. a bit more fun. Let's see how many things Tom steals from the fridge. Also, wait a minute! Where's the fridge door? It was not that wide open and there's no way it wouldn't be there. So that's two pieces of inconsistency, two sins. But now for the fun. One sin for every item of food that Tom steals from the fridge. So here we go. One sausage, using a lobster, dips it into some whipped cream with what appears to be a trifle. Jerry is not strong enough to lift that iron. Jerry escapes from trap only for opponent to tell him to go back to where he was, cliche. Wow. 
three cubes of jello, so that makes six altogether. Yeah, I'm very nitpicky. That's the whole point of these videos. You nitpick everything. <laughs> Jello would never wobble unless it was on the spoon or inside the bowl. It would not wobble if it is inside you. Jerry sniffing the cheese like a dog. That's a little inconsistent, don't you think? Also, that's another sin for another shot of Jerry liking cheese when he shouldn't because mice don't like cheese! <laughs> Jerry's tail shouldn't be able to stretch that long. Again with the tail stretch, it shouldn't be happening. Tom is a bully to cream horns. I wouldn't call that a strong cheese. I'd say that's, I'd say that's a, I'd say that's a very mild Swiss cheese. It's Swiss cheese because it's got holes in it. Know what I mean? There's no way the sh smell should be that strong to put Tom off getting some cheese. <laughs> Another couple of things wrong here. Problem number one. Tom did not. Tom, there's no way Tom would have been able to throw the cheese that far across the room. Second of all, a, ch a block of cheese like that shouldn't be able to destroy A glass, B cups, and C plates and crockery. And third, unless it was a brick, it would not be possible. Cheese should not be able to do that unless the cheese was brick hard. And even then that would cause some problems because there's no way it would be possible. I would demonstrate, but I risk wrecking the flat. Thomas! Thomas! <laughs> if that cat's been in that kitchen! If that cat's been causing trouble, I will cause hell, cliche! <laughs> Tom hides Jerry in trouble area, so Jerry gets into trouble, and then Tom has to save the day, cliche. Thomas, if you've been in that icebox. How can it be an icebox? If it was an icebox, everything would be frozen. Dog praying. Ah! Thomas! There's no way she should be able to have that many dresses underneath that whatever it is I don't know let me know in the comments what it is folks right so let's see how many she had Thomas if you've been in that icebox start praying ah that's what she says start praying <laughs> okay I'll take a sin off of that because that's clever that's a clever threat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was right. There were nine. Not including the main thing she wears. Eight things underneath that. There's no way that should be possible. So we're going to add eight sins on for that one. Seven, eight, nine. I was right. Nineteen. Get in here, Thomas, and get this mouse! Maid screams at mouse, then screams at Tom to catch said mouse cliche. There we go. And there's Tom going, yes, I'll save the day. Good luck, Tom. How can one piece
piece of spaghetti be that long? <laughs> One, Tom's neck wouldn't stretch that far. Two, he wouldn't get himself tied up in a knot like that because that would ruin the inside anatomy of the cat. <laughs> The maid would be excellent at Sinful Saturdays. <laughs> Billy Tom should have known that third option wasn't going to work. Jerry shouldn't be able to run up that entire broomstick. <laughs> Jerry also survives this without injury! <laughs> After receiving a burn from the toaster, there's no way a burn should be immediately extinguished by just water. <laughs> be heavy enough to be able to get that ironing board into that position and two the, there's no way the iron board would be in that position as it would be flat on the floor and three if his tail was caught like that he would be screaming in pain trying to get out <laughs> Right, the way the ironing board was set up, in an earlier shot, it was to the right of that entire setup. There's no way that setup should still be like that right now. No way that setup should be possible. There is no way that setup should be possible. And if Jerry thinks for a moment he's going to be able to get all the way from that ironing board to that fridge he got another thing coming because there is no way that is going to be possible <laughs> Tom sees the enormity of the damage that might be caused and now begs for his life cliche <laughs> having your glutes grated on that grater you'd end up with a very red Bleeding rear end. Thomas, Thomas, man, that mouse sure did get demobilized. There was no way there were that many dishes or any dishes at all inside the sinks, apart from the scrubbing board, to cause that much damage. Thomas, get in here, Ty. Also, when did he knock the toaster over? We didn't see that happen. Hey, man, and get yourself a nice. The maid would have actually spilt that milk and had to go and get some more. Big bowl of delicious cream. Delicious bowl of cream when it says milk on said bowl. Thomas, why are you two time and double crossing? No good cheap cat. The maid sees the damage Tom has done and go and decides to name call him. <laughs> Two time and double cross and go for nothing cheap cat. Four names, four sins. She's a bit of she's a bigger bully to Tom than Tom is to Jerry. And again, mice don't like cheese. Oh 
my. That was fun. Now, for the editing process. That's not really fun. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys again very soon. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up. Keep the suggestions coming for the sins. On the left, you've got yesterday's edition of the Trophy Chibi podcast. And on the right, you've got my dedicated Saturday Sins Tom and Jerry playlist. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. Stay faithful. Hold on, since when did those dishes get broken? There were no dishes in the, there were no dishes in the sink when he was oh my god. The maid would be excellent at Tommy Jerry Sings! Oh, waited a while to do that one! Only two episodes in and we've already got it! Such and such would be excellent at such and such sins. <laughs> so, let's change that about it. The maid would be excellent at Kenzie Retro Sins! The maid would be excellent at Saturday Sins! Maid screams for Thomas to see. Maid screams at Jerry for... T not including the maid, it takes Jerry about 60 seconds to finally realise that Tom has been playing Tom fully with him every single time. It took Jerry approximately 60 seconds to finally realise that Tom has been playing about with her. Now even that doesn't work. 